Hi Gemini, welcome to your August Singles Love Tower reading. So Gemini, we're looking at singles now. I keep this open too. It could be someone totally new coming into your life. It could be a crush. It could be a missed opportunity. Maybe you just met somebody and you're dating, getting to know each other, but it's not serious. Obviously, it's still single. It could be missed opportunity. It also could be maybe an ex coming back. So if you are interested in new love only, I will be doing those a little bit later on the channel. All right, Gemini. So we're going to get you some opening messages with this deck. This is the Wisdom of the Oracle. See what's going on, and then we'll jump into your reading. But welcome in, Gemini. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Inside Tarot. All right, Gemini, let's see what we got for August singles. No place like home. So we have 50, which is 5, which is about change. Hmm. Okay. All that glitters, 16, 7. 7 is divinely guided spiritual energy, but it can feel a little stuck. Frustrating, but the universe definitely has our back. Breathe, 29, 11. 11, you know, double number wouldn't reduce, is life path, soul path energy, and ones are about new beginnings. And come to the edge, 36, 9, which is almost full completion, new beginnings. I feel like here, Gemini, some of you may have decided to take a leap of faith and like totally change direction, even physically move. And then realize, well, that wasn't all it was cracked up to be. And me maybe realizing, you know, it's time to go back from where I came. And maybe, you know, just taking a time out. So maybe if you made a big change and realized, yeah, it, it could be moving. I mean, would you have no place like home here? So maybe it could have been moving. Realizing, yeah, that's not, yeah, that was, that didn't work. So maybe going back to where you came from. But, you know, you, you tried it. You took that leap of faith. And now this is just a, like a breather you know, taking time here to just take some time out for yourself. And it may be that, you know, maybe you left your home or wherever that, whatever that means for you, coming back, maybe it was kind of meant to be that way because maybe now coming back, you're going to meet uh, somebody new. Now, you may not be going back to exactly from where you came, but, you know, you know what I mean, back to same area whatever the case may be i just feel like a change nope and then going back was it didn't work it wasn't what it was cracked up to be but you took that leap taking a time out and now could be the time for i feel like new love perhaps all right let's see gemini what do we need to know for gemini please for august singles let's see Let's see. What do we need to know for Gemini? Five of Wands. Yeah, it could be conflict. King of Cups. Following your heart. Justice. Things that are meant to be. Chariot. That could be traveling, moving, or distance. Knight of Wands taking action. Definitely there was action that was taken here. Um, we got that moving and traveling with the Chariot. Feeling like something was meant for you, following your heart, the King of Cups, but then feeling conflicted. Yeah. Sabotage chair, like maybe you made a wrong choice. Yeah, uh, there's a Summon of Wands too, which is not a great energy either. So, hmm, so let's see, we got Pisces, Libra, Cancer. Sad. Some of you may have even moved, did something, made a big change, and maybe you you, know, you met somebody, and you were giving giving it a chance, and it turned out to be not great either. So there could have been a lot of factors at play if you made a big change, like you made a big change, that change didn't work. You met somebody new, you were dating them, whatever, that didn't work. A lot here about all that. This is like all that glitters is not gold, which means we've got the mass on top that something may not be what it seems or it's too good to be true or it's covering up you know all that glitter is really covering up crap you know <laughs> kind of energy so i definitely feel like yeah 
a lot of things didn't measure up to what you thought they were going to be here. Let's see. <clears throat> Queen of Swords reversed. And I don't think you, you know, you didn't, you had no clue. No, Queen of Swords reversed. You didn't know. Three of Cups reversed. Hmm. Page of Cups, Wheel of Fortune, and the Hermit. There's your time alone here, a breathing time. And then here's the positive movement forward. This I feel like could be new love with the Page of Cups. You may have took a time out from dating, like not talk to nobody. It's like I'm just keeping to myself and not talk to nobody. I just need a breathing time to recover from all this that I just put myself through. But we do have some new romance popping up here and positive movement forward. Very single energy too with the Hermit. You could be kind of like a loner as well. Just needed some time alone. Like recovering from what you thought was going to be a big positive thing. Turned out not to be. So, you know, needing to recover from that. All right. Let's see. This sounds kind of um, specific. So, you know, take it out. It resonates. But let's see. You could be divorced. Uh, justice can indicate marriage or divorce. So, it could be maybe divorce or something like that um, in the past. And obviously, that be could be not why you're single. Some of you could be single for five years. I mean, the first card out uh, was the five of wands. And also, no place like home 50, which would be five. All right, so what else do we need to know here for Gemini? Queen of Sun. So Let me read Peters again. All right, five of pentacles. You're going to be feeling a little lonely right now, especially if you've been kind of keeping it to yourself, not really talking to anybody. Maybe feeling, you know, not not too happy, alone, lonely. So making big decisions here. Judgment call, call of the universe, answering the call. Making big decision here. So I feel like you had a rest period over some sort of big change that didn't work. And now you're feeling like, you know, now I feel kind of lonely. And I need to make a big decision here about, do I put myself out there again? So let's see, we have um, Libra showing up, Scorpio judgment. Could be signs of chart. King of Swords that you are, Gemini. We saw the Queen right here, which is a match, but one's reversed, which means something has to come into alignment. Oh my God, Two of Cups. Okay, there's some sort of uh, ant single. I like that. And a brand new beginning in love. Oh, this is new, Gemini. It's been a long time coming for you. Some of you have been single for a long time. Very happy energy here with the sun. Fate and destiny with the wheel of fortune. Things meant to be. All right, so something's coming in for you. So let's see. Oh, I got to do the bottom of the deck. Eight of wands. But we have to, you know, start putting these energies into motion. It's a new cycle getting ready to start here page of wands it's got to be about putting yourself out there you know six of wands success and victory so hmm, gemini i think this is new so let, tell me about the new for gemini like how are you going to meet this person how is it going to happen is there somebody interested in you are you already interested in somebody already all right let's see gemini what does gemini need to know new love this is definitely new 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 Nine of Pentacles, single, independent, brand new beginning in love. Okay, we're getting repeaters here. King of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. Three of Cups reverse, though. Hmm, usually that's my courting, dating, getting to no card. So we do have single, independent energy here. There's a brand new beginning in love lurking around you somewhere. King of Pentacles you know, is a very trustworthy, loyal kind of energy, grounded, stable. Ten of Cups is total fulfillment and happiness, but we have to start by dating, right? Five of Swords. Hmm. Seven of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, so some of you have been in a relationship or commitment marriage or before. You know, that could be something that uh, is still hindering you. But Virgo is showing up here. Three of Swords, yeah. Hardy campaign here. Revolving around maybe a commitment or marriage you were in. Very stressful times. Nine of Swords. But there's some sort of new opportunity here with the Page of Pentacles. 
We do have the queen. Now it's a match to the king. So we do have matches coming in, but one's upright, one's reverse, telling me that uh, my light went out. I knew that was going to go out. <laughs> um, this is something that has to come into alignment. Whether you know this person or not. So whether this is you just need to put yourself out there to meet somebody and then for things to come to alignment. Or it could be, for some of you, it could be somebody you already, you know, are interested in or vice versa. But let's see, is this someone totally new? We do have the Ace of Cups there. Or is this already an interest? Let's see. For Gemini, what else do we need to know? Gemini, please. Let's see. Wheel of Fortune, Fate, Destiny, Divine Timing, Things Meant to Be, Death, Transformation. It's usually endings and new beginnings. Transformation, Knight of Swords, taking our time, not rushing. I definitely feel like you took your time. <laughs> Three of Pentacles, Growth, Expansion. Could be somebody you work with. Four of Pentacles, but there is some holding back here. Three and the Four of Pentacles, I mean, that is progression. That would be the Seven of Pentacles, which is kind of stalemating. Or it could be the Ace of Pentacles, which could be a solid new beginning. I just feel like a lot of taking your time here. But the transformation can happen here. It's fate, it's destiny. But we have to be willing to put in the work and not hold back so much anymore. Sag, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Scorpio, Aquarius... What would be next here? Yeah, Eight of Pentacles. Putting in the work. King of Swords, that you are Gemini. You could be just working very hard right now, concentrating on that. Kind of avoiding love. <laughs> but there's a soulmate engine. There's a soulmate lurking around you. I keep getting that here. Look at that. Two people coming together, making plans for the future, but you have to take that leap of faith. So we have come to the edge there. Very blocked energy. This is feeling a little bit connected to. Capricorn so if you are interested in a Capricorn or whatever you know you may want to watch that reading there's a lot of you know holding back here with the hangman but let's see did I say the signs I think I did I think I did Sag Leo Chorus Taurus Scorpio Scorpio Aquarius all right so tell me what Gemini, we're going to do one more line. We've got one more line to go. So hopefully we're going to get some uh, more definitive energies here. See what else you need to know. But if it is resonating, please do like, comment, all the great things. We greatly appreciate it. All right, so what else does Gemini need to know? It's like the universe calling you into action here, Gemini. It's time to put yourself out there again. Because you're going to miss the opportunity of a connection here. Moon. It could be fear. Fear of the unknown. But there's, you know, love lurking around here. Romantic interests. Romance. Love. Romantic gesture. Sincere gesture. Two of Pentacles on the fence. On the fence. Eight of Wands. In reverse about not taking action. And there's a lot of fear here. So, if somebody interests you, Gemini, but you are afraid to accept their offer, or, you're, or if you're interested in someone, you're afraid to make the offer, a lot of fear here with the devil. We've got two par uh, cards of Pisces and Capricorn here. Stars, wish fulfillment, balance, healing. Things meant to be. But we have to be strong enough. Strength in reverse. Not strong enough here. So you could miss out on ultimate happiness here. Happiest card in the deck. King of Wands. Being in power, going after what we want, making it happen. Higher level energy here. So this could lead to like long-term commitment marriage down the road. But if we don't make the choice, this lovers was originally called the choice. If we don't make the choice, this is you, Gemini. To, you know, experience love again, there's definitely a lot of missing out here. Six of Swords. I felt something about you guys like making moving making a big change success victory here that actually could be coming back eight of cups reverse is about coming back 
returning back to something here. But then there's confusion here, illusion, and then the Ten of Swords reversed. But we do have the Ace of Wands and the Tower. So the big change here and exciting new opportunities. But you can't stay stuck. Ten of Swords reversed. So it just keeps giving me the same energy here, Gemini, of um, getting yourself out there, embracing and not stalemating and just not fearing, going for it, taking that leap. You probably just been through something big, you know, whether it was a change or something else. But I think you've been single for quite a long time for some of you. All right, let's get you some spirit of the animals. See what else you need to know. We did get a lot of matches here, but one upright, one reverse, meaning that, you know, things have to happen. Things have to come into alignment for connections to happen. Putting ourselves out there. Going on dates, getting to know people. All right. All right, Gemini. Let's see. What else does Gemini need to know? It's the spirit of the animal and also everything you need to know is down below. You can check that out. My website has everything you need to know as well as in the description box. All right, Gemini. Wow. Okay. So we have Raven here, Shaman. You are the creator and magician. Use your gifts for good. There is power in your wisdom in words. Connect with the elemental spirits and glide through the void. Claim your place as keeper of the mysteries. You feel like it's all a big mystery to you. So you maybe that may be why you're afraid of the unknown, maybe here. Ram, perseverance. Don't give up on love. You may have you have many gifts. No problem can withstand the power of your mind. With patience, you can reach your mountaintop. Never give up, and good luck will follow. Let's. Arca Whale Adventure. Dare to do things differently. Sing your wild song. Manifest your travel dreams. I think you've done that, but it wasn't all it was cracked out to be. Cracked up to be, I feel. Um, attempt the great journey with confidence. Be loyal. Friends and family are your treasure. Treasures, be brave. You are more powerful than you know. All right, what else? Look like we have kind of like Aries energy here too. Okay, that went flying on the floor. Let me get that. Dolphin play, it's just let go, have fun. Very similar, very, very similar to Capricorn. So you may want to watch that. Swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence and exhale fear. Dive into your wisdom. Go with the flow. Cougar, assertive. In silence, you find power. Claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage, confidence to succeed. Yeah, someone needs to be assertive. I feel like it's you, Gemini. I feel like it's you. Um... Or someone towards you or just being assertive and accepting um, an invitation just have fun go with the flow don't give up go on adventure have fun have to take that leap all right Gemini that's what I have for you so I hope that helped that resonate again everything you need to know is down below I am wishing you the best and I shall see you next time